Welcome back to the homecoming series. I'm not in Cameroon yet. <laughs> I'm in my layover hotel at Addis Ababa. It's 4.30 now in Addis. 3.30 in Cape Town. 2.30 in Cameroon. It's time for me to shower. My flight is at 9. Okay, so this is the front door. You come in through this door and when you come in, this is the first thing you see. I'll just give you a quick 360. I've already made a mess of this corner with all my things. We have a TV, a wardrobe. So that's that for this hotel room, eh? Hey? So naturally we came early. I'm sitting at my gate now. I have to say, goodness, the security in this airport, next level, next level stuff. Also, I forgot to pack a comb in my carry-on. I arrived Cameroon looking very shabby. Okay guys, I'm going to explain everything that happened, but first, let's settle down. <sighs> Despite all the stress, I was super excited to be back and I knew that my father was somewhere there waiting for me. But the excitement was so much that I actually ran past him and I didn't even notice where he was. And he had to call me back like, Madam, you just blew past me. Guys, I finally made it. I'm in the heart of Dwala right now. I've missed the city and all the stress that comes with it. As soon as we deplaned, the first thing that greeted us was that familiar tropical heat. That heat that can give you headache for days. And then for some reason, the queue to actually enter the airport itself, that is from the plane to the airport itself, was so long. It wasn't moving. Nothing was shaking. When we finally push, 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 managed to enter the airport, we had to queue up again. For what? They were giving all of us mandatory COVID tests. They did the COVID test on all of us. Obviously, it's like hundreds of people. So that also took a while. So we were there in the queue, just waiting, sweating, waiting. Uh, it was, say it with me, hectic. I think the whole COVID testing and all of that, that took about 45 minutes to one hour. From the time that we were tested to the time that we got our results. So thank God for my dad. He got me a hotel room, which is where I am right now. And yeah, so I'm just going to freshen up and see what havoc I can wreck in Douala. I'm just joking. I'm a peaceful girl. Or am I? Mm -hmm. 
The journey from Douala to Bamenda took us about 7 hours and that was 7 hours of non-stop driving apart from a 15 minute stop which I'm going to show you in this video. I cannot mention Bamenda without pointing out the fact that Bamenda is in the middle of a serious crisis. If you don't know about this, just look up the Anglophone crisis in Cameroon. And this is a crisis that has been plaguing the land for four years now. The Anglophone crisis is an extremely sensitive topic and it's something that needs a video of its own. So you can just take time out of your day and read a bit about it. But for now, I would like you to enjoy the rest of this video. Guys, we just stopped somewhere to buy some fruits. Yeah, my mom is obsessed with fruits. She didn't eat any of the croissants that I got for us. But I told them you were coming to buy. One thousand francs for each of these. Cameroon is very hot. Well, in general, Cameroon is very hot. There's some parts that are very cold, but while well, right on the equator, I was outside for like five minutes, but I'm sweating like a donkey. To donkey sweat. Hi guys, we have arrived at Bamenda safely and we thank God for journey mercies. My sister welcomed us with fish. Let's see. Sorry, I didn't show you the fish before we destroyed it, but I'm exhausted. I need to. Please show me that. So, this is my sister and she's the one who organized the whole I... fiesta. This is where I grew up. This is where I've lived all my life, right on, up until I went to Buya to do my mm, undergrad. Sure. And then after undergrad, I moved to Douala. And then after Douala, I moved to South Africa. So I haven't actually lived here in like seven years. You worked for three years? Three and a half. You are in Buya for four years? Yes. Yes, I have been in South Africa for two years. <gasps> Since? That's close to 20 years. <laughs> Wait, no, come, 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 come. Three and a half plus. That's nine years. That's not ten years. Mom! Yeah. Do you know that I've not actually lived here for almost ten years? Where? In this house. More than ten years. Ha! No, it's not more than ten. <laughs> Mom just knows how to exaggerate. Yeah, because you lived in things you went to lots. You only come here briefly now. It's true. Lord, ah, yeah, Lord, true. If you look years, at it that way, yeah, it's more than like 10 years. Seven years, you went to Boya for another four years. That so is once 11 years, years where you made three years, almost three years. Before in Duala. Three and a half years. Three and a half years. Then that's for three years. And then after that, went to South Africa for one and a half years. Since almost 16 years. 
So that's it. <laughs> that's how you do. You have to count things when you're walking with mom. <laughs> and then you count all or you don't count it. You don't count it. Period. Period. Okay. Bye guys. See you in the next vlog.